Now for this provisional cast on, you will need about one yard of waste yarn, and in this case our waste yarn is blue, and you will need your regular sock yarn that your sock will be knit from, and keep it attached to the ball, do not cut it. And with both yarns together, we make a slip knot and put it on our needle. Now remember that the waist yarn is blue and the sock yarn is red. The waist yarn will be pulled out later to reveal live stitches. Now the sock yarn is tensioned in the left hand just as you would normally do for knitting or crocheting. The knitting needle is held in the right hand. The, the waist yarn comes from between the thumb and forefinger and it's wrapped around the thumb two times counterclockwise. Now if you have a hard time visualizing counterclockwise, think of the yarn as always coming out from the right hand side of your thumb. If you wrapped your yarn around your thumb clockwise, it would come from the left hand side of your thumb and it would be impossible to do anything with it in that position. So the waist yarn comes between the thumb and forefinger and goes twice around the thumb counterclockwise. The sock yarn goes over the knitting needle as if to do a regular yarn over and I just hold it there with my forefinger. The knitting needle comes under both strands of waist yarn from bottom to top, travels over the sock yarn and we snag the sock yarn through the two loops from the thumb and we gently tighten the waist yarn. This yields two stitches on your needle and we're not counting the slip knot. The first stitch looks like a yarn over and the second stitch is a real stitch and it has a bead of provisional yarn on the bottom. So we do another one. The sock yarn is tensioned in the left hand and comes over the forefinger. The waist yarn comes between the forefinger and thumb, wraps twice around the thumb counterclockwise. Sock yarn goes over the needle as if to do a yarn over. Needle comes under the two strands of, so of waist yarn from bottom to top, travels over the sock yarn and we pull a loop through and gently tighten the waist yarn. I now have four stitches on my needle. Each step makes two stitches on your needle. Sock yarn goes over the needle, hold it with your forefinger, Needle comes under the two strands of waist yarn from bottom to top, travels over the sock yarn, and we pull a loop through and gently tighten. Now this cast on always yields an even number of stitches because each time you do this, you get two stitches on your needle. Now you cast on one half the total number of stitches desired for your sock. In my case, I use 64 stitches for my sock so I would cast on 32 of these stitches and not counting the slip knot. So I'm going to turn the camera off now and cast on some more stitches and when we come back I'm going to show you the foundation row that you must do in order to make these stitches become live when you pull them out.